I was driving today and I happened to glance over while I was waiting at a four-way stop and saw this totally cool bench. This is the Federal Building in St. George, Utah. Uh, but, I mean, these are just absolutely beautiful benches. I love it. Uh, so I had to stop and do a video. It's just, that's a cool bench. Gummy bears have a sample vote for your favorite flavor. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Haribo, Haribo, the gold bears. Uh, and I was able to find the cherry. Uh, on the back, it says that they would have watermelon and apple as well. Wasn't able to find them. However, at the same time, I did find uh, the Guess the Mystery color. These are, I don't like the bags because they don't stay well. This is just a Ziploc. These are the cherry. Uh, and these are the mystery flavors. And I actually had mom help me test the flavors. Uh, I cheated a bit. I went on the web and got the, the guesses. The yellow was the first we tried, and the grapefruit, as soon as you put it in your mouth, you knew what it was. Uh, the next was the orange, and we're thinking it's apricot, but we weren't actually sure. We know it's not cheddar. Don't think it's the melon or the cantaloupe. It doesn't taste like tangerine, but we think it's uh, apricot. The red looks and tastes just like the cherry. Uh, and this one smells amazing when you open it. Uh, not as great as you'd expect. Then we tried the pink, and that was definitely melon, uh, watermelon. The blue. We had eight of them. We each tried three. I tried four. And we could not definitely come up with a flavor. And in this case, the wintergreen may be the f choice because I can't decide on the other four. Oh, no. Uh, it but we couldn't tell. Was it raspberry? Was it blueberry? Was it plum? Was it, well, it wasn't plum. I don't think it was a blue apple. But it may have been because, again, the vote for your favorite. But real big, still an unknown flavor on the blue. We couldn't tell. Mom actually had, uh, she bought a tin uh, at Christmas, and it had gummy bears in it that were, well, the tin said made in China, so who knows on but they had some wonderful flavors. They had one that tasted like kiwi, one that tasted like mandarins, which I absolutely loved. There was also a lemon. Uh, good lemon. Good lemon. The blue for them was raspberry, and it was a, definitely a raspberry flavor. It was really good. And uh, the green was kiwi. No, strawberry. I think it was kiwi. Uh she had a green one recently that was somebody that was. Uh, oh, strawberry. That's right. The one from China was kiwi. Yeah, it was kiwi. She had uh, one of the Haribo gold bears the other day that their green was strawberry. The but the green from the the tin that she got for the holidays was definitely kiwi. I don't remember. I think there was a fifth flavor and I can't remember what it was. But they were the flavors were good on those and definitely easily identifiable one candy and you could tell the flavor and like I said on this one the blue we weren't able to come to a conclusion on that uh, this is just me doing a quick video uh, for this I've been also doing another video on for uh, perhaps cooking uh, just did some mostly gluten-free uh, sourdough pancakes using uh, white and brown rice flour. Uh, those are scheduled at a later date. I don't know when it's going to actually be posted. I'm scheduling them roughly one a week. Maybe I'll reschedule them two a week because I'm doing more of them. And I haven't done one for perhaps in a long time. So that's what this is. And perhaps Someone else will be able to tell what that blue mystery color is on the Haribo Gold Bears mystery flavors. Anybody who's watched any of either of my channels knows I have issues with things on my hands. 
and at the same time I also have issues with dry skin uh, there's a crack right there on the my thumb my hands do that uh, so this uh, Neutrogena Norwegian formula hand cream is about the only thing that I can actually stand being on my hands and even that sometimes is too much uh, I just wanted to it's not oh here it is ingredients uh, most things the one of the main ingredients is petroleum jelly and this here is water glycerin, glycerin alcohol and then the healers uh, but the thing is because it's the glycerin uh, it for some reason doesn't bother my hands like well I have issues with petroleum products anyway uh, fabrics or anything but uh, but this one actually works for my hands uh, the probably the reason my thumb cracked is because I didn't use it for a couple days because I really don't like things on my hands uh, even this but I can tolerate this where most things I can't uh, about the only things I really tolerate well are soap and water and a towel cotton 100% preferably uh, silks okay don't do gloves uh, just don't like things on my hands but this actually does work and I usually give away the bottles I have uh, I think the bottle that I've been using recently was a bottle I gave to mom or maybe it's one she bought I don't know she just recently bought this one uh, it I wanted to use it because it has the ingredients list on it instead of it's not here on the on the tube itself uh, but I just wanted to show that it's the ingredients list is uh, all basically water based but I can actually tolerate this and it works wonders on my skin uh, just wanted to I don't know I guess kind of share that but for someone who doesn't like things on their hands this one definitely works for me